Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. So today we are going to be working on an air fuller block. Now, we have made this little top fuller tool here, and you've guys seen that in use hopefully by now in another video. Now what we are going to do is we are going to make a bottom tool. Just like I made this bottom rivet set, we are going to make a bottom fuller block that you can run this thing down into. And we're gonna use this to create that over at the anvil. So much in the same way, we're gonna start by upsetting this piece to roughly a wedge shape. And let me grab a piece of chalk here and draw that out. Excuse me here, sorry. Essentially, we're gonna forge this out to roughly a wedge shape. So we're gonna jump this bar stock up, upset the end till it's a wedge shape. This here is one inch square material or 25 by 25 mil. It is also approximately about 50, uh, it is also approximately five inches long. So whatever that is by 25 mil, which I believe is two and a quarter. No, 100 and a quarter, yep. Yeah, 125 mil, that's what it is. So it's 125 mil this way, and it's 25 mil square, or five inches by one inch square. We're gonna upset this material so this way it fits snugly into the hardy hole this way. And then we will use this fuller from on top to take and create the depression, like so, the fullering bit. As this drives in, this piece is going to want to go down and tighten up into the anvil block. This will create these like little wings, I call them, on the edges, and that's what will help keep this thing from falling all the way through in further use. So there will be no further need for shouldering or creating set downs or anything like that, as this block will fit pretty snug in the anvil. You do want a fairly long, hardy shank that's going through the hardy tool. It helps the tool from bouncing up and bouncing out. Uh, just a real quick note on that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get it heated up. I thank you all for watching this video, and I'll just go ahead and say it now since the rest of the video will be quite loud while I work on this. God bless you, and thank you for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Stick around for the video.